Quantum mechanics is a tremendous tool to understand some of the world's most exotic phenomena, such as superconductivity and quantum computing. However, there is one glaring observation that sets it apart from our current understanding of physics it fails to explain gravity. Fascinatingly, it is one of the four fundamental forces of nature, which governs almost all of the macroscopic phenomena in the universe. In this video, we will explore the reasons why quantum mechanics fails to explain gravity, despite our attempts over the decades. Firstly, quantum mechanics and the theory of gravity are fundamentally incompatible. Quantum mechanics operates on the principles of superposition, where the quantum state of a system represents a complete description of its properties. On the other hand, general relativity, the theory of gravity, describes the large-scale behavior of gravitational objects by treating them as continuous geometric entities. This incompatibility implies that at the very least, the formal framework of these two theories would not integrate to give a unified mathematical description. Secondly, our current best understanding of quantum mechanics and gravity, respectively, diverges at the Planck scale, which estimations suggest is approximately 1.6 times 10 rest to minus 35 meters. At these incredibly tiny scales, quantum fluctuations dominate the behavior of particles. The inability to reconcile quantum mechanics and gravity at this scale is a massive hindrance to our ability to understand how these two pillars of physics cooperate in the universe. Thirdly, general relativity suggests that massive objects bend spacetime around them, generating gravity. In contrast, quantum mechanics deals with a discrete point-like particle model. In classical physics, it is possible to posit gravitons, massless free particles moving in the form of waves that generate gravity and account for the forces between objects. However, in quantum mechanics, Gravitons cannot be described by the usual theoretical framework of quantum field theory. Fourthly, gravity is a non-renormalizable theory, which means it does not conform to the renormalization group techniques of quantum field theory. Gravity is a classical theory it does not conform to the usual methodology of treating a subject quantum mechanically. Describing gravity and its effects microscopically is impossible without accounting for the underlying gravitational field, adding yet another theoretical issue to the mix. Fifthly, the formalism of quantum mechanics assumes that the universe is an isolated system. However, constructing a quantum theory of gravity leads us to confront the possibility that the universe cannot be self-contained. The interactions of massive objects generate gravitational fields that affect other objects in ways that require an expansion of quantum theory to understand truly. Sixthly, the uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics dictates that fluctuations perpetually shape the quantum mechanical world. When applied to gravity, it turns out that the strength of the gravitational field in a particular position becomes subject to uncertainty. This uncertainty means that general relativity and quantum mechanics can only produce compatible results for large masses. Seventhly, researchers have worked on constructing quantum gravitational theories that operate on principles of loop quantum gravity, string theory, and causal dynamical triangulation CDT. Notably, string theory suggests that the universe is composed of tiny strings that vibrate at different modes with the unique vibrational frequencies and amplitudes that produce particles. However, these theories fail to account for the particle that mediates the gravity force the graviton mentioned earlier. Eighthly, black holes serve as an excellent example of the incompatibility between the two theories. On the one hand, there is the black hole information paradox, where quantum mechanics cannot account for the paradoxical behavior of black holes that implies that information can be lost. On the other hand, general relativity seems to suggest that information preservation in black holes remains vital. Ninthly, the apparent flatness of the universe suggests that general relativity does not account for some minuscule spacetime curvature. As we know, quantum mechanics deals with the probabilistic behavior of particles. However, it cannot account for the fluctuations and undulations of spacetime curvature. 
Tenth, and finally, we need to consider the fact that general relativity and quantum mechanics deal with different realms of reality. General relativity involves the phenomena of the universe at large, whereas quantum mechanics deals with subatomic and microcosmic phenomena. It's possible that a unified theory would serve as an explanation of both theories and explain the interplay between the microscopic and macroscopic phenomena in our universe. In conclusion, despite decades of research, scientists of quantum mechanics fails to explain gravity because of fundamental differences in the way both theories work, and their mathematical structures. Moreover, the notion of entanglement, spacetime, and the uncertainty principle in quantum mechanics pose significant challenges to unifying both theories. While attempts have been made to unify these theories, success has been limited, and a quantum gravity theory is yet to be formulated. Despite these challenges, physicists are optimistic about finding a unified theory, and further research is underway to develop a theory that can explain gravity from a quantum mechanics perspective.